Accenture slumping despite beating earnings estimates, coming just shy of revenue forecast, but slashing its annual guidance from 2 to 5 percent to 1 to 3 percent growth. The company saying that on the call that the update reflects further constraint on smaller projects due to macro uncertainty. But Gen AI remains a bright spot in IT budgets. CEO Julie Sweet joins us now to talk about all of that. Welcome back, Julie. Good to have you. Great. Thanks for having me again, Sarah. Good to see you. You too. So what's happening on the on the growth front that led you to cut guidance? You know, it's pretty straightforward, right? You've got a lot of macro uncertainty. Budgets get finalized in January. And as the, you know, the page turned on the calendar year, we saw another tightening of the dial on overall spending, including on our services and particularly on the smaller projects, which, you know, for us are the ones that turn to revenue. Uh, more quickly. So, you know, we always call it like we see it and we updated our guidance. But as you sort of turn to how we're doing against this uh, backdrop, we took market share. Uh, Our clients are prioritizing the big, uh, complex deals, right? And so we're seeing an ongoing momentum in our strategy to help them reinvent with a record 39 clients with bookings over 100 million. And for the first half, we had $40 billion of sales, which is also a record. And of course, with Gen AI, our clients are focusing on the future and they're choosing us. They chose us to be reinvention partners. They're choosing us on Gen AI. And we're really excited that for the first half, we hit a billion dollars in generative AI sales. Your signings are, are strong, and it looks like are strong relative to expectations. So why, why isn't that c- contributing more to organic growth? So what it, uh, the way our business works, right, the larger, more transformational deals convert to revenue uh, over a longer period than the shorter projects. And it's a, it's a pretty basic formula in the industry. Uh, and what this really demonstrates is that the fundamentals are strong, right? In a tight spending environment, clients are choosing to do the things that really materially last. So they're building their digital core. For example, Mondelez, which makes, you know, it's a leading snacking provider, makes one of my favorite snacks, Oreos. They're doing a major reinvention of their digital core in order to enable them, among other things, to maximize profitability, get to clients faster, reinvent their supply chain, and to use technologies like generative AI. So clients are prioritizing, reinventing, doing the things that are material. And uh, as I've talked about often on this program, there is much more reinvention ahead than behind. There's so much more to do to be able to use technologies like generative AI create the new data foundation, really build out the technology. And then, of course, our big opportunity is to help clients then reinvent every part of the enterprise using AI. So, Julie, talk to me about how the generative AI business translates into revenues in the future. How how much of the business is it going to be and when does it really start to move the needle? Well, in order for generative AI to be able to be used, you do have to move to the cloud, create the data foundation, uh, uh, update your platforms, your ERP platforms, have the right security foundation, and then have the talent and the process change and responsible AI. So we're talking about a lot of growth over a number of years. And in fact, uh, one of the things we just announced this last quarter is that to help clients with their talent rotation, we've uh, invested and launched our Learn Vantage services. We're buying a company called Udacity to help us scale that to help drive that talent rotation. So we see a lot of growth ahead uh, in the next several years as we help our clients drive their AI rotation, do their talent rotation, and really change the way they work and uh, uh, serve their clients and their customers. What's the best use case you found for, for an enterprise customer? The early use cases are things like what we're doing with Best Buy, using it to reinvent the customer experience. So with Best Buy, we're using AI and generative AI in their contact centers to personalize the experience for both customers and employees. That's really an early, very impactful use case. Uh, We're doing it in marketing, for example, as well. So it's 
really exciting. And remember, these technologies are used in combination with other technologies. So, for example, with ExxonMobil, we're doing marketing operations, which uses AI and generative AI. So anything about customer is a great early use case.